everyone, this is Julianne. I'm one of the librarians at the Sausalito Public Library. And for this week's summer craft kit, we decided to make video instructions as it's much simpler to explain by showing it rather than just on an instruction sheet. So to, this week we're making these, which are called God's Eyes. And these God's Eyes have spiritual significance for people particularly from Mexican and Mexican-American culture. They see it as a symbol of protection. It's also just a fun weaving craft to practice and is good for our fine motor development. So that's why we're doing them this week. And you can hang them up like this one I left a little tail on so I could hang it up on like a bulletin board or in my room somewhere. So in your bag, you'll have two sticks that have been hot glued together in the center. So they're pretty tightly put together. And then you'll also have some yarn. Now the yarn is variegated, which means it's one continuous piece of yarn, but it has different colors throughout. So your yarn is nicely wrapped up in a ball, but I've already unwrapped my yarn. But your yarn should have two colors on the end. Most of the pieces of yarn have three colors, a beginning, a middle, and an end color. So I can choose if I want to start with pink or if I want to start with the purple shade, which is at the end of my yarn. You'll also need a pair of scissors, which we assumed that you have at home. Okay, so to start, we're going to take our yarn and we're going to want to make an X in the center of our sticks. And we'll want to keep our sticks like a T for this part. So, since I'm going to start with the pink end, I'm going to first go like this. And there's this little tail on the back, the other end of our yarn. You just tuck that back and hold it with your finger. You can hold it behind the middle stick. That tail will just get incorporated as we keep weaving and you won't even know it. So for the ones that I've completed, you can't even tell where that tail is. That's the back of it um, because it just gets incorporated. So just hold it there and then you'll want to go three times around this way to begin our X. So one, two, three. And even though the sticks are hot glued together, this just helps it make the uh, craft base even more strong. So that's three. And then we'll want to, again, still holding that down, we'll want to go in the opposite direction. One, two, three. And if you see there, try to pull tight. You have an X. And we still have this tail, but again, it's beginning to become incorporated. And now it's time for us to start the primary weaving that we do when we make a God's eye. So to do that, you'll just choose a stick to start with. I like to choose the one nearest where my length of yarn is. So I'm gonna start with this one. I'll wrap it around this stick once and try to pull it tight and so that the yarn is close to the bit of yarn that's already there. So wrap it around once and then go over to the stick next to it and wrap around once. And then over to the next stick, wrap around once. Over to the next stick, wrap around once. Over to the next stick, wrap around once. Over to the next stick and wrap around once. Now two things to notice, as I do this, I rotate the sticks in my hand and I just find that's the easiest way to do it, to constantly rotate the sticks so you're keeping your hand that has the yarn pretty steady, um, but you're just constantly rotating your sticks. And see, as I do this one, I'm incorporating that yarn and just tying it down essentially. So around once and over. And also when I go over, I try as best I can to get the yarn to line up directly with where the last bit of yarn was on that stick. So around once and over. Another thing to note is that when I go over, I'm always going over on the top. I never go 
over on the bottom. So always make sure you're going over on the top, the, the face up side of your craft, and the face down side will have this tail. So you always wanna make sure you're going over on the top. So it's really simple, you just keep doing this. This would be a great thing to do while you listen to a podcast or an audiobook as a family or maybe some music if you like music. I'm going to keep doing this and finish up my God's Eye and I'll be back when I'm almost done. Welcome back. So I was nearly done with mine and I actually liked the look of it as just pink and yellow even though I didn't get to the purple. So I went ahead and trimmed my yarn off. Um, I might actually trim that a little bit more because this ends a bit fuzzy. Um, so I trimmed my yarn off to show you how to um, end it and I'll show you how to end it now. If you want, you can just keep tying it till you're basically done. You wanna leave about that much space though to tie it off when you're actually done. So what I can do, and I actually like the look of the ends of the sticks, but some people like their God's eye to have more yarn. So you can just keep going if you want, or you can stop about here, but either way you need to leave a little bit at the end. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a knot, but we're going to make at least two knots, preferably three. The first knot is a little bit hard and you might wanna get a grown up to help you because this isn't gonna be that tight. So we wrap it here. You wanna make your knot tight, but it's hard to keep it tight while you're knotting it. So you're, you'll go across this stick, almost like we're still going to do the God's eye weave, but then we're just gonna make a loop and tie it around the stick. But here, when you're pulling it, you wanna try to keep the yarn as tight as possible and pull down. So there you go, it's already tied. But for good measure, we should do at least another knot. This one will be easier to do because the yarn's not loose. And again, just pull it down and tight and maybe one more. Okay, and there we go. We have our God's eye. If I wanted to hang this, I can use part of this string to hang it, but I might just wanna clip it some more. But it's up to you, or you can totally clip it off if you aren't going to hang it up. Now, one troubleshooting thing I would like to mention is that when I was making mine, I found a knot in my yarn. Here's the knot, and I couldn't get it out. I tried. So I was already weaving, so I decided to clip out the knot but then my yarn was no longer connected. So what I did was I tied two pieces of the yarn together, um, the piece that was still connected to my craft and the rest of the yarn. Um, so I just tied two pieces together. And then these um, ends that I cut off were just the ends of the, of the yarn. So I just tied them together. And here you can see it in the back where I did that right here. There's like a little ball, but from the front, you can't see it. And an interesting thing to know is that most people who make a God's eye buy single colored yarn and just end up tying different strands of the yarn together to make a God's eye. So it's totally normal to have these bumps on the back of your God's eye. And I just wanted to share that in case you run into the same problem or if you wanna to try to make a God's eye with yarn you might have around your house. The nice thing is since I didn't use all my yarn, I can do it again with a friend with this yarn. Um, I could also just use my own yarn. And if you're looking for more sticks, um, here we actually just use coffee stirs, but you can also use popsicle sticks or craft sticks or sticks you find in nature. Um, you could also use a pair of wooden chopsticks. Really any sticks will do. Anyway, I hope you have fun doing the craft, and remember that if you're doing the summer reading challenge, completing the craft counts towards an hour of reading. So you can either uh, put down an hour on the Beanstack website or app if you're using that, or if you're using the paper log, you can color in a square on the pier. Thank you. Hope to see you soon. Bye.